are my Big Trouble in Little China um, action figures from Reaction. I bought these a long time ago at a um, comic book convention called Geek Fest. And now I finally got around the chance to open them. But um, I don't think I'm going to have a problem with that because the packaging, the plastic has already started to separate from the card back on all of them. I don't know what that problem is. But anyway, Big Trouble in Little China is an awesome movie. If you haven't seen it, watch it. It's an 80s movie. But it's like ninja, sci-fi, fantasy, comedy, action. It's everything. It's supposed to be in uh, Chinatown of San Francisco. But ever since I was a kid and watched this movie, every time I went into uh, Center City, Philadelphia and went into that Chinatown... All I could think of was this movie. So now let me take Rain, Thunder, and Lightning out of their packages. Which won't be hard because in storage it has definitely deteriorated the glue here. And they're already basically off the card back. So let's check them out. Before I start, um, there's a couple of different references for what they look like that I believe. First of all, a movie that came out before Big Trouble in Little China was called Shogun Assassin. And they had three characters on that, which were called the Masters of Death. That look, that I feel like they were, these characters were influenced from them, from that movie. Then the other is that the hat of these characters is definitely and the theme lightning was after this movie was made so they got Raiden from Mortal Kombat these guys influenced that character for sure all right first up is rain now these are molded in the Kenner fashion so they only have arm movement leg movement and the head he's got a molded on sword a cool like um, belt buckle I guess you call it his weapons are looks like some it's like some kind of a claw which I'm almost positive on that movie Shogun Assassin one of the guys had a weapon like this wow they're, they're pretty tight it's pretty hard to get in there and they're not as strong as I th thought the thing but that might be good because they won't snap if they have a little bend to them uh, and the cape now all three figures have the same cape so I'm not gonna keep going over that but let's see they clip on clips on nice nice I like them Alright, next is Thunder. He has a beige uh, look to him with these little cool like bumps all over him. And his belt buckle is another like a dog or a dragon thing. But his legs are like the chunkier version. Just like the, um, the Emperor action figure from Return of the Jedi. His weapons are these cool blades. With the side, like, scythe, I guess you call it. Uh oh, this, this one looks hard <laughs> to get this in. Oh, there you go. Alright, so the good thing about these weapons and their hands is that they actually flex a little bit, which is good. Because his thumb won't snap off or the weapon won't break. That's Thunder. And the last one we have is Lightning. The Raiden dude, I guess. So he has a gray color. And um, I like his armor the best, his chest armor. It's like the chevrons, like the plated. His weapons, unfortunately, I think there was two. I only saw one because one fell out of the package. 
so it's forever probably like with the crumbs in my carpet but it looks like a little wrench and I guess it's a uh, a throwing weapon all these characters in the movie had pretty like gruesome deaths uh, that I can remember or at least one of them did goes in there and he's got the same cape the same cape but man they look cool together so thanks for watching this review of these three awesome ninja characters from big trouble in little china if you haven't seen the movie check it out and thanks for watching this review have a good night thank you for thank watching you for please watching. subscribe subscribe subscribe, subscribe.